So this woman says, I'm pregnant, having a scan soon to find out if it's a girl or I'm unaliving it. Hashtag delete all men. This is a perfect example of how a lot of women don't think things through. Like, how are you going to hashtag delete all men and at the same time announce that you're pregnant? Whose seed did you need to get pregnant? You stupid. Like, why do you ladies be trying so hard to act like a man's existence isn't needed? Like, y'all be trying so hard to act like a man is not needed at all. If y'all hate men that much and you want to delete all men, then how come y'all don't get rid of everything that you own that was created by a man? Throw it in the trash. Burn it. If that's how you feel about men, then you don't get to benefit off things that men have created or done. Go build your own house. Go build your own car. Throw your phone away. Create your own phone. Go be a garbage woman. <laughs> Go ahead. Do it. Some of y'all can't even last five days on a girl's trip together without bickering and fighting, let alone a whole world with a bunch of emotional women and no men. Yeah, no, I can never rock with something like that. Like, yeah, remember when those girls went on that girl trip and it ended up going bad? Exactly. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Uh, Y'all saw the thumbnail. Y'all know what time it is. We'll work our way up to that. But I just want to show you, like, the this is the kind of behavior that I see a lot. I've witnessed and not surprised by and i'm sure a lot of you guys aren't either some of you might be but it just goes to show you man how much women get away with misandry and this abusive behavior towards men and it just gets overlooked why because men are supposed to just be stoic and shut up and take it but with that being said let's go on to the next clip so this creator matched with a gentleman on Bumble, they set up a date, and then the night before he sends her this. Hey there, I was excited for tomorrow and did a little pre-date googling just now and saw your TikTok. While I thought some of the videos were funny, others, for example, the one about all men being trash, made me pause and gave me the impression we're not the right partner fit. To which she of course replies, I love when they tell on themselves. The ironic thing about this video is that he isn't the one who told on himself, she is. That's the whole reason he was able to glean enough red flags to call off the date. I think googling someone before a date is super normal and something you should honestly be expecting at this point. I don't know if you know this, but if you give someone your phone number, there are apps that can generate every single social media that you have off of that. I know it's really popular right now for creators to be making accounts just for the purpose of bad dating stories and criticisms of men like this creator has. Has, but you can't blame guys for not wanting to be that next bad dating story or criticism piece for your content. If he was able to find that page through a very preliminary Bumble search, it is very tied to your identity, by the way. It's not really a radical concept that a man might not want to be publicly associated with a woman who posts things like this. You stupid. It really is a fascinating timeline to watch women post publicly about how little they think of men and then have the audacity to literally post where have all the good men gone. Ma'am, they're in hiding, and women like you put them there. Yeah, or... Yeah. Hopping on them flights and getting passports. I'm telling you, this is why... <laughs> this is why social media is like a gift and a curse, because this is one of the gifts of social media in, in terms of women man because like just like shorty said man she was the one that told her herself not the man see what she was trying to do she was trying to flip it and she was deflecting and projecting what she was trying to do was she was trying to make it seem like oh well if you know if seeing those videos makes you not want to be with me then that's your problem right but any man that would see those videos and still want to pursue you if anything she should see those men as a red flag but instead she sees it as a green flag women see it as okay you're willing to go through and put up with all this bs to be with me okay okay you might be worth that I, I say this all the time man the way women really gauge relationships nowadays and the way how they gauge men is by how much a man how much be of their bs a man will put up with and still tolerate them i think that's how women i think that's how women go by how much a man likes them they put up all these barriers and all this bs and like is he gonna go through this is he gonna go through that kind of like that video that i put up a shorty that's saying that she tests men just to see if they're gonna get up to see how they're gonna respond when they don't get what they want perfect example of that let's keep it moving 
Now, before I play this, I'm letting y'all guys know now from what I'm being told and from what I saw in the comments, this is a skit. But I just want to sh show you this as an example before I show y'all the last clip that was in the thumbnail. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I have to go to work. I'm going to be late to work now. What? No, I have to go to get a car wash now. Are you serious? He, he, he's proposing to you. No, this is not cute. I'm going to be late to work because of you. I could get fired. Well, can you just put your work aside for a second? I'm sure your boss will understand. He literally just proposed. No, you know how important that work is to me. I don't, like, this is so like you. This is so like you. You always do this. You always put yourself before me. And it's just not cool. What? What? You didn't think about me at all when you did this off. Like, look at this mess. Can you clean it up? Like, I have to go and get my car washed now. I'm going to be late to work. I might get fired. Can you at least clean up this trash? Like, it's are not you. Are you serious? Why are you acting this way? Excuse me, you're, you're not even part of this, okay? This is between us. He's going to get late to work. I could get fired. <sighs> Yep, and clearly she doesn't feel the same way about you. But like I said, you guys, um, from what I've seen, this was a skit. But I just wanted to show you guys that to give y'all an idea of the selfishness that can and will occur. I mean, I think this was this might be somewhat a bit extreme. I don't really see most women reacting that way. But then again, you never know, bro. Like, you never really know. But what I do know is in this next clip, man, Shorty got caught slipping, man. Check this out. And you better shut. And if I this shit, you better shut. What? Up, what? What you gonna do? I'm doing what you gonna do? Show hand on my face. No, you not. Sit down. Why are you Damn, this shit man? just saying talk about it. And you, that's your problem. Yeah, that's me, man. <laughs> what? Don't stop. But there you go with that. I don't give a f. Don't not. I don't care. Ninja, you didn't know the cameras were there. She knows she can get away with this in most judicial systems in America. That's why she's doing it. And that's why they all do it. I'm going to let you know right now, I don't give a damn. Any female that come watch my channel disagreeing with me, I don't give two f that's why they do it that's why y'all do it y'all do it because y'all know y'all can get away with it and y'all use it to y'all advantage see this is why when women be over here talking about some oh we can go to these other countries and do what y'all do too no the hell y'all can't because the y'all get y'all get away with more in this country than y'all could in any other damn country out here what is you talking about that shit pissed me the fuck off like, who the fuck you to sit over here and put your hands on somebody like that because if he would have said you know what enough is enough and would have clocked your ass then you would have been over there crying at them and playing victim stop putting y'all damn hands on men 
If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description and pinned in the comments. To the next video, y'all. Deuces.